Hi everyone, welcome. I hope that you're doing really well today. I am coming to you with the third installment of our best of 2018. These are going to be the best palettes of 2018. The things that I loved, the things that I used, the things that I was looking for, reaching for the most, enjoyed the most. It's the third video in collaboration with Natalie, Michelle, and Marlene. So don't forget when we're done here, I will have them linked down below per usual go visit them, see what their favorite palettes are. I'm not sure if they included face palettes in with this. I did not. I have been exploring my face palettes lately. Normally, I just grab four singles when it comes to that. So I'm trying to work through my collection. That's what my goal is for 2019. So I just have eye palettes here. I love some eyeshadow palettes. If you would like to see the eyeshadow palettes that I chose to make it on the list of the best of for 2018, then please keep watching. These are in no specific order. I am very much a creature that goes by emotions, moods, feelings. Depends on how I feel, what I'm reaching for. But these palettes, I grabbed the most. I think this will be on a lot of people, not just within our collaboration, but a lot of people that do Best in Beauty, Best of 2018 type videos. I think this is going to make the list on a lot of those videos. This is the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. Oh my goodness. This is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. The mattes in here are so nice to work with. The shimmers are beautiful. The glitters, I don't really reach for a whole lot. You just barely have to touch your brush in and you have enough to get going with an eye look. It is just gorgeous, great formula. These are super pigmented shadows. I just am going in with the lightest touch. They blend beautifully. They wear all day, no creasing, no fading, no anything, but goodness, I love this palette. This is another one that I so enjoy. The Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. Just beautiful colors. Several different looks with this, as long as you're willing to stay in the warm family. I do have a couple cooler colors, but for the most part, it's warm. Gingerbread, warm. I absolutely adore this palette. Beautiful. Huda Minis. These are the Huda Obsessions. I love these. When I went to change my clothes, I wanted to put a little red in my eye look. I pulled this palette out and within just a matter of seconds, it was done. This color right here is absolutely stunning. It just, you look at it different ways. It's just beautiful. These palettes, I have, see this one, the gemstone, the green, I've done a real pretty look with, and the blue. Where's the blue? My blue's gone. But these are gorgeous. You can't go wrong. These palettes are super fun, beautifully pigmented. The mattes are beautiful. The shimmers are beautiful. These Huda Obsessions, phenomenal. I, I love this. I like to watch Katie and Desi. I love their interaction. I love the friendship that they have created. And when they came out with this with Dose of Colors, their Friendcation palette. Talk about these mattes. This is the first Dose of Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette that I've ever had. I definitely will want more. These are just beautiful. They wear gorgeously. They're very mature, skin friendly. Phenomenal. They this palette, you either loved it or you hated it. There's some people on here that I absolutely adore that took it back or passed on it. I love it. It's the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. Y'all, I have given this thing some love and it has loved me right back. I have had no issues with it. I've gotten several looks from it. Oop, it's a gorgeous palette and I have had a lot of fun with it. When I first saw this palette, I was like, no, I don't think so. Then I swatched it and they were out. It is the Tarte Be A Mermaid and Make Waves palette. Y'all, these shadows are all like butter and these colors are so, they're just absolutely gorgeous. 
I have had so much fun. I have had so much fun with this palette. I know you don't like them. I do. My Morphe palettes. These are just the two latest ones. I love, I love, love, love. This is the 35M. I bought it for the purples and the greens. And they're just gorgeous. And this is the 35B. Absolutely beautiful. 3502. Gorgeous. Just, I'm telling you, I, I really enjoy my Morphe. And this one was such a nice surprise. This is the Sephora Pro. This is the Nudes. I have the Warm, and I liked it. So I picked this up, and it was really hard to put this down. I came up with so many nice looks. This is just a beautiful standalone palette. Yes, it's $68. But look at all the different colors you get. The mattes are nice and blendable. The shimmers are beautiful and lay on the lid very nicely. I really enjoy this palette. And for 2018, I had to mention these two palettes. I had to mention the Makeup Revolution and the Emily Edit palettes. I have the wants and the needs. I love the packaging. I love the big mirror that you get. And as you can see, I've given it a lot of love. This one I think is going to go in my gym bag because it is the perfect, you have everything, absolutely everything you would need in here. Makeup Revolution is known to have a lot of hits and misses in it, but I will tell you, Emily took her time and she picked the best of Makeup Revolution. That's really what she should have called it. The best of Makeup Revolution is what she put in her wants and needs palettes. The bronzer is beautiful. The blush is very nice. I think it's flattering on a lot of different skin tones. I've seen a lot of the pictures posted. And for a nice natural or neutral eye, these are beautiful shadows. Now for her wants palette, I will tell you, I absolutely love the color placement, the color shades and families that she chose. The names, I mean, come on. I was crying when I was watching her talk about this palette. She is an amazing lady. I've watched her forever. I love her so much. As soon as these were available on Ulta, I ordered it. I have had no issues. The mattes, I've had no issues with the shimmers. I have not had any issues with muddiness, but she did. She really did. She took her time. She picked the best of the best from Makeup Revolution, and she put it in her palettes with so much love towards us, so much of herself. I just can't help but put these in my favorites. That is it for my favorites of 2018. Best in palettes. Like I said, these are all eye palettes. I don't know if the girls are going to be doing any face palettes. Let's go see what their picks of the best of 2018 in the palette category are. That's where I'm headed. Their channels are linked down below. I love these girls so much. They're amazing ladies. And I'm going to go see what they chose right now. Why don't you come with me? The link's down there. I'll meet you over there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and listening to my favorites. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.